Hello everyone, this is Kodas Singh and this is our third tutorial. So in this tutorial, I will be logging in as Postgres user and I'll be running PSQL to create a new database. So just make sure you are logged in as a user who has the uh, privileges to create a database. So we're going to do create database pay tracker. I'm doing pay tracker too because I already have pay tracker. Uh, which I created before for my actual production database and <clears throat> since the database is <clears throat> done we're gonna go and set it up in a TypeScript area so I'm just gonna create a new file over here called database.ts and I'm gonna import uh, SQLize basically from SQLize TypeScript, TypeScript. SQLize TypeScript, we're going to import uh, SQLize, <clears throat> great. So we're going to do export const SQLize <coughs> SQLize. <clears throat> so the first thing is the name of the database, which is pay tracker two. The second thing comes is the username. So it's post JS only and my password is Postgres 2. Make sure you don't use this kind of password in your production because it's very risky and it's easy to break because it's easy to break basically. And uh, so we're gonna write the host. Host is basically local host only for me. I mean for you guys also it's gonna be local host. And dialect. So we have to pass a dialect which is <coughs> Postgres. So we have options, God bless TypeScript, we get options also. So our models, now the, this thing comes, which is called models. So the models has to be like a DIR name. Plus we're gonna create a, a models directory. So you're gonna save it and we're gonna create a models directory. <coughs> models and that's it. <coughs> So we're going to go back to app. What are we going to do? We're going to, once our database is initialized, so we're going to connect it and we're going to display our message. The database, database is being connected. So what we're going to do is, uh, we're going to do SQLize. So it's going to import from database, SQLize.authenticate, <coughs> authenticate. And uh, we're going to do dot then. <coughs> Or what we can do is uh, we can place it over here. We can make it async. Let's let's do then only. It makes more sense. Then and console log data base connected. Or we can do catch over here dot catch e of type any. Okay, it's not. Okay, one second. I hope you're happy now. <clears throat> I forgot to add these things. So console log e dot message. And yeah, so let's let's try to run this app. <clears throat> I hope it works. <coughs> Excuse me. Database connected successfully. If you guys are not getting this thing database connected, then I would say uh, restart my video or, or just try to check if everything is working. And if you have created a model directly, if you don't create a model directly, it's going to be a problem, I guess. So anyways, thank you so much guys for watching the tutorial. I hope uh, you got what I'm trying to explain. If you are if you're not in, uh, understanding then I would say leave a comment. I'll I will help you or someone from the community can help you out. And if you're liking the tutorial, then do just subscribe my channel and like my video. Thank you so much, guys. And uh, see you in next video.